Hi, I'm Alternate01, and today I'm going to show you how to do a single player to multiplayer conversion by using what's called a BSP replacement with Eschaton 0.8. This tutorial I'm actually going to do it in Halo Full, simply because there's more variety and I like the maps in there better, but you can do this with demo. I should point out, however, that if you do this in demo, you should not do a conversion from full to demo. Those map files will not work. There's special data that makes it not happen. However, you can do CE to full, and of course full to full, and any maps that have been converted to work with demo should work with this process. So first, I'm going to open up my single player map, A30.map, that's the second level of Halo. I'm going to go down to the SBSP tag. This is the actual geometry. There's two tags, so there's two map geometries that exist for this map. These are very large files. They actually make up the bulk of the map file, so it'll take a little while to extract. Recursively extract as usual for importation. Successful. Then I'm going to open and expand the map I want it to play in. Just going to use Blood Gorge, classic example. There we go. Maps, Blood Gorge. I'm going to move over here to the DSP selection tag. Blood Gorge only has one DSP chunk, or one DSP. It only has one map geometry. Single player maps and some others might have more. So here's where you would choose what to replace and select what to replace it with. Do not import duplicates. I'm just going to use this option so that it doesn't take up as much space. I'm importing a lot of data. I don't want to make the map any bigger than I have to. Replace the DSP. Okay. Some of you from the Windows side who've used HMT to do a similar process might be familiar with this problem. A lot of maps have what are known as implicit references. So the SBSP relies on tags like Dob C class and Decal class that just don't work. The problem is, is that they are like dependencies, but they don't explicitly reference them like they do in a dependency, so it's not caught in a tag extraction, so they don't include it, but when they try and use the data, it crashes. Eschaton recognizes this and allows you to remove these references. So now it works. Going to rebuild the map. Build map as always. Save it. Take a while for it to write. There we go. Just going to open up a new editing window this time. Open build.map. Now the reason for this... Hmm. Oh, it saved it in there. Alright, I'll move it later. Okay. Now the reason that I'm going into build.map right now is because the spawn points where your player spawns are still designed for the Blood Gulch map. And that doesn't work very well for this new map geometry. Yeah, there's this little spawn point right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to another location. I think this will work pretty well. Maybe 27. Alright, let's see. Right here. To 56. That should be right around here. Bring the Z value, its vertical position up. This might take a little bit. Oh, a little bit too far. Uh, 62.7 seems about right. So I just moved one spawn point to be inside the map. I'm going to be a little bit lazy now. And I'm going to use another app by a good friend of mine, a guy named Dead Hamster on a few forums. 
So I'm done with Eschaton. I'm going to quit that out. And I already had this open. It's a program called Illudumium. Illudium? I'm not quite sure. Uh, here's some of his contact information and credits. And opencarnage.com would be a site you want to check out if you want to contact him for more information. Now, what this app actually does is you enter in the data for a coordinate, a spawn point. So the last one was negative 27.5 for the x coordinate, negative 56.6 for the y coordinate, 62.7 about for the z coordinate. Rotation I don't really care about right now, so I'm just going to put zero. Going to find the map I've just edited. And what it's going to do is it's going to update all of the player spawn points to be the spawn point I just edited. This is really useful uh, as a starting point. Normally for mods like this, you would want to go in with something like Spark Edit or Sword Edit if you're on Mac to move all the spawn points as you wish, but I'm just being lazy right now to show you how to do it. So, once again, rename Blood Gulch to Blood Gulch Original. Change build.map to be Blood Gulch.map. Go to Maps folder. Go to Halo Full this time. Multiplayer LAN Blood Gulch. Slayer. Oh, I didn't get the spawn quite right, so I got hurt. That's something you'll probably want to fix with a uh, easier to use editor. Can't get quite right with this column. But there it is. This is the BSP or map geometry from that model. Fully playable. Now you guys have some more fun with it. So, that's one of the many new features coming in Eskaton 0.8. We hope you have fun with it.